Hey everyone, my name's Raj Ute, and unfortunately I'm not too well this week, so it's an audio only look back at the tech news in the week that was May 13th to May 19th, 2018. Google officially announced a change to the YouTube slash music offering, splitting YouTube Red into two products, YouTube Music and YouTube Premium. The new YouTube Music will also absorb Google Play Music, with playlists and uploaded music being migrated under the new banner. YouTube Music will be offered free of charge with ads, or ad-free with added features like background play for US $9.99 a month. YouTube Premium is essentially the old YouTube Red, but now more expensive at US $11.99 per month. Existing users of YouTube Red will be grandfathered into the older, cheaper pricing, providing you have an active account ahead of next Tuesday, May 22nd. On the back of a new release of arguably the best Twitter client on the Mac, Twitterific 3, Twitter has reiterated that the looming doomsday for third-party clients is coming August 16th. Streaming APIs will be turned off, meaning third-party apps will no longer receive pushed info in real time, crippling their functionality. The data has been changed and shifted, but it looks like this one could finally be it. HTC is jumping on that blockchain train. That's hard to say. Announcing they'll be baking it right into their next mobile phone, Exodus. What does putting blockchain into a phone do? Well, that's a very good question. HTC is hoping that the Exodus will strike deals with digital currencies and the phone will become your universal crypto wallet. It's also supposed to offer more secure hardware and another amazing buzzword in decentralized apps. Remember back in 2016 when those mini NES consoles sold like bananas and people were selling their firstborn trying to get one? Well guess what, they're back on sale next month come June 29th and you can pre-order one right now from EB Games. It's not just the NES either, it's also the mini SNES or it's returning, although details on that one and its final release date are still forthcoming. To finish things off this week, it's pre-E3 madness time with a bunch of announcements already hitting a month out from the event. None bigger for the time being than Activision's Call of Duty twists and turns in dropping single player entirely and introducing a new, wait for it, Battle Royale mode. Called Blackout, the new mode is scarce on details with no mention of player limits as yet, but what we do know is that the new Blackout map will be over 1500 times the size of one of the most popular maps in Call of Duty history, Nuketown. And speaking of Battle Royale, we've got a competition running for one of the originals. We're giving away five copies of Player Unknown's Battleground for Xbox One. You can enter by liking and commenting on our competition Instagram post, with more information available on the website. And that's it for another week. A huge thank you and shout out to our patrons who have enjoyed the show delivered to them early. For everyone else, I hope you've enjoyed it just as much. And don't forget, you can always join the Patreon campaign for this and other benefits like our Patreon exclusive new podcast, I Don't Quite Know. Find out more at reckoner.com.au slash Patreon. Have a great week and bye for now.